Hello, Mr. Smith and Mrs. Smith. My name is Isomi Miyamo. I am here to be interviewed as your HR advisors. Let's start the meeting. The first question is, what is a good performance system? As organizations cooperate in a more competitive climate, it is becoming increasingly necessary for employees to have clear guidance and direction towards the organization's goals and objectives. The purpose of the performance management system is to communicate the link between an organization's mission and strategic direction and the required employee performance. Performance management can also be used to assess the efficacy or efficiency of workplace, especially when there are external or internet unit comparison. The best and worst performance may be easily identified. The best can be used as a role model or in training, while the worst can be assisted to be improved by coaching, training, or discipline. A performance management system might not motivate employees to be more candidate with one another. Organizational plans may be discussed. Appraisal talk can be free and open within a realistic context. And way to improve performance can be encouraged and openly reviewed. Employees are always more motivated to achieve goals on which they agree or have some input. Another important goal is to produce a system that is regarded as fair and equitable, particularly in the reward that emerge from the process. The second is how to conduct performance appraisal. What is performance appraisal? If there is a disagreement over an employee performance, that cannot be settled down between the manager and the employees. The entire performance management system will be threatened by getting information from multiple sources, a more complete picture of an employee performance can be built and the information. Because it came from multiple sources, it is more convincing to all parties whether doing a typical performance appraisal, permitting self-assessment, or conducting a complete 360-degree appraisal which is one of the most built and reliable indicators of performance. It is critical for Asia to take the correct strategy to reduce stress. However, despite HR's best effort, performance review frequently demotivates employees. One appraisal per year is insufficient for them. Feedback is only effective if it is offered at the appropriate time. It is not always evident which factors have an impact on an evolution. This lack of honesty creates the impression that that supervisor just disliked me. The question is, how can you create more effective performance appraisal? It is obvious that it's the time of the year for performance review is really a good one for everyone. However, things don't have to be that way. It is feasible to approach employee performance review differently. It is important to establish the good, true goal of a performance evaluation. Performance assessment can fail simply because employees don't comprehend when they are being given. Worse, they believe they are either a box ticking exercise or a pretext to inform an employee they end up performing. The advantages are obvious. The performance evaluation have begun a reliable basis for remuneration and advancement. They enable you to create clear goals for visible improvement, which lead to improved performance. Indeed, studies have shown that employees who are developed and encouraged in line with their ability stay with their employers for a longer period of time. The next is the policy of grievance and discipline. An employee may feel a grievance due to a variety of incidents or situations. They can be highly serious, such as a sexual assault or a significant safety risk for their safety. They may be less serious in aggregate, but of great worries to the employee 
such as a new shift, a failure to consider for promotion, a critical evaluation report, a lack of chance for overtime, or a safe work pressure. Every right is reserved without permission. This work may not be duplicated or transmitted. A complaint is similar to an infection. If not treated swiftly and efficiently, it will faster and spread quickly, causing a needed pain and suffering, and the decrease of production, cooperation, and also commitment. Any disciplinary session is considered a failure on the part of the management. It might be a failure in selection or failing to comply the rules during induction or failing to comprehend or influence the employee's behavior in their performance in the workplace. The next question is, how to motivate employees through reward? Employee's motivation is always critical for every organization's success, but it is, can be taught to build and sustain. In this meeting, I would like to look at which the other important employee engagement indicator motivation impact and how to improve it by two chat. Encourage employees to provide feedback to their immediate worker once every one of two months. The right feedback can be asked and shared in the Slack or Teams. The activation of feedback ensures that everyone receives quality and feedback on a regular visit. By doing this one every one or two months as our guideline in app guidance assists employees in constantly improving their feedback ability. All feedback is easily recitable by team, making it simple to follow one's own development and share pertinent insight for a development conversation, for example. The second is regularly measure topics that affect motivation. Employees, especially those who are demotivated, do not often speak honestly about their concern. Furthermore, a lack of psychological safety can raise the threshold for bringing up difficulty. As a result, in order to understand how your employee feel about their job, the rate at which they are learning, the clarity of their goals, and the feedback they are receiving. They must have an anonymous way to express their views and feelings. Make it so simple and participatory that there is no excuse for not responding. The next is how to recognize excellent member. Recognizing an excellent member is important because that can motivate for them. I have five tips about uh, there, give shout out to them, offer fan project, professionals, pro personal development opportunity, and take them to lunch, distribute non cash reward, and throw in a big competition, parties, or potluck. The final question is the types of pay scam. We can begin to consider specific method of compensation. Our step when we have designed at conversation structure, remember that when we talk about the conversation, we are talking about more than just a paycheck. We are talking about incentive system that include bonus and profit sharing. An incentive, often known as a pay for performance incentive, is paid in exchange for resulting particular performance standard, such as sales objective, the benefit of Incentive pay is that it allows committee goals to be directly linked to the employee goals, resulting in increased pay for the person and goal achievement by the organization. Thank you, Mr. Smith and Mrs. Smith, for listening my PowerPoint patiently. I want to work with you. I look forward to the day that you are going to Work with me.